everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as She Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Happy 2020! So exciting. The new year is always this like exciting time. To me, it never feels all that different from the last year, but it is a fun time to reflect and think about the future. And I certainly had a very exciting 2019. We had a lot of life changes, so that was great, and I'm looking forward to what 2020 has to offer. Speaking of looking forward. So in the spirit of that, I thought it was time to do another wish list update. So starting in 2019, I really made the choice to only buy sustainable items new and to still continue to buy a lot of my items pre-loved. And I'm continuing to do that, but I've also been really mindful about the gaps in my collection and really trying to buy things that I know will get a lot of wear. Really the like golden rule of thumb is it'll get 30 wears at least in your collection. So I identified a lot of gaps in 2019 and filled a lot of those gaps. I still have some other gaps. I have some new additions I want to add to my wish list. I have some pieces I've gotten off of my last wish list, and I have some that still have those gaps. So first let's start with the things that I added. I was really looking for some espadrilles. I wanted some good, comfortable, casual shoes. And I added two pairs. I added this pair by Indosol, as well as this pair of mules by Sarah Flint. So super excited to have added those since my last wish list update. I also have been looking to replace a lot of heels and I have a whole video about new in shoes and shoes that I was going to be replacing and all sorts of things. But one of the gaps that I had in my wardrobe for a really long time were blush suede sandals or blush suede heels really. And so I added these Aquazuras, which I think are kind of fun, a little bit different. I'll see how much wear they get because they are a little difficult to wear, but I do really like the way they look and I'm really excited to have finally found a blush suede. It doesn't have to be suede, but a blush pair of heels to add to my collection. So most of the things that I did get since last time were shoes, but I did also get this bag. <laughs> this is a bag I've been wanting it for a really long time. I wanted a red or burgundy bag in my collection and I added this Fendi bag. I had a lot of different things happen <laughs> with looking for a red bag and so you can kind of look back through my channel and see and see that when I bought this bag I wound up actually buying a few others and figuring out which one was best for me and returning the others and then keeping this one and I'm really excited to have it. So that was an addition to my collection. I actually have no bags on my wish list right now. There isn't a specific bag that I'm looking for. I like the Fendi Glacier bag, but I don't love that it doesn't zip at the top. I'm waiting to see what Kuyana comes out with next. I have a couple bags I wanna replace this bag, and this bag I think will be replaced in my collection, but there isn't a specific bag that I feel like is a gap or that I really want to add specifically into my collection. So really no bags. I do, however, have some shoes. I am still looking for the Chloe Lauren pumps or, or the Ferragamo Veras, though in my last wish list I said I was taking those off. The Lor Chloe Lauren pumps would replace that, I think. I'm also still looking for some black wedges. But another thing I'm really looking for is a great pair of ankle booties. I don't actually love any of mine. So I have a specific pair that I really want to add, and that is the Sarah Flint Perfect Zip Booty 70. I mean, when do you find a black heel beautiful boot? that has arch support inside. I mean, it's just great. So that is one I think I will add actually pretty soon into my collection I'm really excited about it. So that one I want to add. And then I think that's it. I have a few other shoes that I am still looking to replace in my collection, but again, I don't have like a specific shoe that I'm trying to add. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm feeling really quite good about my shoe collection as well at this point. So that's great. And then bags are good, so it's really just clothes. I have two clothing items that I've just added to my wish list that I really want and they're super in my head right now because I just added them. <laughs> and that is the A Day Slow It Down Pant in black. I'm 100% gonna be getting those. <laughs> I have been looking for a high-waisted wide leg pair of pants for a long time. I'd actually really like a couple different colors of them and these only come in black, but those will at least be the first pair that I add and then I will keep looking for navy and white and maybe some reds and pinks as well. I'm also still looking for a long white blazer as well as a white A-line skirt. So those are all the white things. I'd also really still like a red skirt suit or a pink skirt suit. And so that would have the skirt as well because I would also like a red or pink skirt. 
So those are things I really want to add into my collection. And then the other thing I'm really interested in adding into my collection is this pair of, you're never going to see it because they're just like loungy, comfortable pants, but these pair of like the most comfortable, like sweatpants ever <laughs> from Amore Verde. So a sustainable pair of sweatpants that are just, they feel like butter. They're just incredible. So those I am definitely hoping to add in 2020. I'm also still looking for some more casual dresses and then there's still a top from Anne Fontaine, this specific like floral top that I would still like to add. But those are all just kind of like basic things. There's really only a few that I'm really looking for. But basically, yeah, I think that my wish list is quite contained. It's quite small. There's a couple I know I'm going to add this year. And otherwise, you know, I'm sure that there are still some other gaps that I want to fill or things that will catch my eye, but probably on the pre-lift market or from sustainable brands. It's kind of funny how my style has changed. You know, I, I didn't really, I wasn't super into luxury a while ago, maybe more than five years ago. I, it was always something that was like, felt unattainable to me. And then I began to understand that I could buy them pre-loved and like, just kind of learned that whole journey and became a reseller and all those things. And then I just like only wanted to add luxury into my collection. And I was so excited to do that. And now I'm kind of like heading back down and really trying to add sustainable things. Not that I think luxury can't be sustainable because I think you can absolutely find very high quality, beautifully made pieces that are timeless and last forever. To me, those are the best luxury purchases. I feel like I've added most of those that I've been really interested in adding. I've already added them into my collection, so they're not, they're just not on my wish list this year. So that's sort of where my mind is, right? I'm still trying to be very mindful and try to be very sustainable. I'm really also trying to replace a lot of like household things and just be mindful about consumption overall, not just in the fashion sphere. So that is something that I'm thinking about a lot for this year. But otherwise, yeah, there's, I'm not just like, I'm just not lusting after anything. And as Catherine from KW Shops would say, there's not really a lot of things in fashion that I love right now. Like I don't really love the direction that that's heading. And I think that's true. I really still gravitate towards these kind of classic pieces. So that was a big long rant that didn't necessarily need to happen, but I just wanted to let you all know kind of where I am. I'm getting more excited about finding things from a few brands that I love and less about buying things from big giant fashion houses. So that's that's my 2020 wish list. That's kind of my mindset about what's happening right now. But I do want to know what you all have on your wish list and if you are thinking through your purchases and like what you're really the most excited about. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and a very happy 2020. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.